<clears throat> and what year is a leap year? Every four years and the year that has 29 days in February, correct? So how do I figure out it's a fourth year? Very good, if it's divisible by four. Leap year, not a leap year. So now when I run this example, it asks me to enter a number, let's say year 2004, it says it's a leap year. When I run it again, I ask for year 2005, it says not a leap year. However, this code is not complete in its context. This code works for all years but the century year. Okay, so for example, the year 1900 was not a leap year. But if you run this program and I enter 1900, it says it's a leap year because 1900 is divisible by 4. So if it's a leap year and it's not a century year, then this logic works perfectly fine. But if it's a century year, then you have to make sure that it's completely divisible by 400, not 4. Okay, so keep that in mind because that will be the, our next step. So what we do in programming, in conditions, we have something called nested if. Nested if condition. Now what do you think nested means? Very good. One if inside another. So I want to have another if condition outside, which will check to see if this is a century year or not. Okay? If it's a century year, I'll take one route. If it's not a century year, I'll take this route. Is everybody following? Okay? So what I'll have is this. That if a condition for century year, else, and now I'll have this, this whole logic that I already have inside the else of the century year. Is everybody following? No? It's okay to say no. Oh, yes. Yes? So, if century year, then you take this route, otherwise you take that route. So let's first build the logic. If this is for the century year logic, else all this code will go in the else. Just like for all years, I want to make sure they're completely divisible by 4. For the century year, I want to make sure that they're completely divisible by 100. Indentation is very important in your code because it adds to the code readability. By indentation, I can see that this is inside that, this is inside this. It gives me steps in my code. Now, copy these four lines that you have in else and paste them inside the if.
we will make one minor change to make this code work for that condition and this code work for that condition, okay? So if it's a century year, it must be completely divisible by what number? 400. That's it. That's the only change I have to make. If it's a century year, must be completely divisible by 400 to be a leap year. Otherwise, it's not a leap year. Like, let's say the year 1900 is a century year, but it's not completely divisible by 400, so we'll say not a leap year. But if it's 1904, then this condition will fail. We're going to go to else, and now this calculation will take place. So let's run this code. And we are checking for the year 1900 for which we checked before. And now it says it's not a leap year because 1900 falls in the first if condition. But and then a line number 20, it fails. So it goes to line 22 and displays the out, output from line 23. On the other hand, if I enter the year 1904, Then, sorry, 1904, then it's a leap year as it goes into else, and it's completely divisible by 4. <clears throat> so, this is what we call nested if. One if condition determines which route will be taken next. 